Hi beautiful Geminis and welcome back to the channel Gemini. Let's go to the Romance Angels and see what is in store for Gemini. I've seen religious factors twice. Oh, hiccuping. Got spiritual hiccups. What's going on, Gemini? Having a heart to heart conversation. There could be some family issues going on. It's like enjoy the moment fully, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. There could be children involved. Your love life being affected by children. It's time to disconnect. You could be calling in your soulmate. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So it's looking like you're going to have to clearly decide what you want because it's showing that financial issues are here, children are here, could be religious factors, family issues going on. Um, Something's going on. Let's get you some love messages. Someone could be in poor health, like mentally, having problems here, like a lot of stress. Trying to get answers. Listen to your intuition. There could be intense emotions or feeling like someone is being deceptive or hiding the truth. Proceed with caution. There could be sadness here, disappointment, regret, depression. There could be some unwelcome change that you don't want. You could be feeling tired or someone's feeling tired and burnt out here. Feeling like it's going nowhere. Feeling like, I, I, where is this going? It's going nowhere. It's like sad, but it could be that someone feels in order to have good health, they got to end something. There's a lot of chaos right now. A lot of difficulties, brick walls with finances and family issues. And you might feel like, oh my God, you know, there's a lot going on here, Gemini. Let's see what the finances say, Gemini. It's just a lot of chaos, a lot of opposing forces, unpredictable events, shit going down. It's like, why is this happening for Gemini? Sad news, clarified by sad news. Uncovering some kind of truth. It's a disappointment or depression or some kind of, I don't know, setbacks or it's like I'm trying to feel fulfilled there, but this is a long journey. It could be to do with dark negative thoughts. It's like somebody could have thought, you know, they were going to get great fortune. They were going to get this house. They, you know, this is the proverbial dream. I, you know, I, I wanted this. I wanted that. We don't have the money. We don't have this. We got children to pay for. We have um, 
finances going on here. Feeling like time is running out. It's like feeling like, I don't know, am I being my worst own enemy or is someone actually my enemy? It's like children. Finances, everything. It's like, what's going on here? So it could be to do with the fact that somebody, their expectations. This could be a karmic cycle. Someone thinking, oh, I'm going to get rich quick here. Or something is going to go on, but there's going to be sad news in a courtship. Because I, I don't know. Somebody's just like... There's a change, change of direction. It could be to do with family and finding out someone was a false person and they're feeling disconnected. And oh my Lord, have money it just feels like someone has been deceiving you or somebody's been lying to you. Okay, let's go. Gemini, well, let's get a few of these thoughts here. Why is this all going down here? Why is Gemini having such a difficult time here, Spirit? Why is Gemini having such a difficult time here? What is going on, Gemini? You could be feeling insecure. You might be trying to, like, control a situation or keep everything under control. But someone is blaming and being very catty. Someone is being trivial. Okay, what's going on? You're going to have to watch your words, Gemini. That's what it keeps saying. you got to watch your words. It's like... Period of depression. It's like you're gonna have to watch your words there is mistrust here and what's going on it's communication it's everything is boiling to boiling point here Somebody was wishing, you know, I don't know, maybe somebody was wishing that somebody was more wealthy or somebody is wishing, you know, for, uh, I don't know. But it's like, look, I don't know, somebody, it's negative mindsets, negative mindsets. Someone is either thinking very negatively or somebody is talking. <sighs> Could be family issues, disagreances between family members, disagreances with money, disagreances with, I don't know, some is got to watch the words to get pissed off. Someone's getting pissed off and angry. It could be about money. It could be about moving. It could be about finances. Someone feeling trapped. Someone feeling lack. A lack mentality. This could be self-pity as well.
This is you, Gemini. You're going to have to watch your words. You are, if you want, it's saying, it's like, this is you, Gemini. You're going to have to watch your words. You're going to have to watch what you say. Now, I know you're not going to like hearing that, but I want to see you do well here. So it could be that. You could be arguing, you could be fussing and fighting about finances, fussing and fighting about family, children, the everyday issues, everyday issues. And it's like, well, I thought I was going to get somebody wealthy. Well, I thought I was going to get a house. Well, I thought I was going to get this and I thought I was going to get that. But I don't know what's going on. And somebody is stressed out and worried. They could be in poor health mentally. Like they're stressed out. Someone's getting really stressed out. And it's like you're going to have to watch what you say because it's belittling this person. They feel insecure. They're stressing out and they're worrying. They could say something foolish right back to you, Gemini. I'm just saying. Or it could be some comment that they make about a friend of yours or something. Somebody is getting really catty here. They're nitpicking. It's nitpicking. It is nitpicking. Because you could be going through a period of frustration. A period of ill health. A period of lack of finances. Family disruptions, children, everything is accumulating here. You're going to have to watch what you say because this person's going to spit it right back at you. Don't dish it out if you can't take it. That's what this is saying. Some It's somebody's expecting the moon here. It's like, well, I thought, you know, by being in this relationship with you that we were going to be well off and we were going to have all this money and we were going to have the dream, but the expectations might be too high. And then someone feeling sorry for themselves because they didn't get what they wanted to get. Sometimes you don't... <laughs> You can't always get what you want. But if you try real hard, you might get what you need. Someone's coming off with a sharp tongue. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's a person around you or in the relationship. But someone's getting really cheesy with their words. Like, well, I was expecting a house and I was expecting this and you commit to me. I was expecting to have this. I was expect someone's expectations are too high. They're expecting too much of someone. Either you're expecting too much of someone or someone is expecting too much of you. There could be children involved. Do you know what I'm saying? You may feel like somebody is being deceptive. You may feel like someone or or, or they could be feeling like you're being deceptive. I don't know. But somebody is feeling, somebody could be defending like an Empress energy. Somebody could be on the defense. 
Because somebody's going to regret something. This is self-pity. It's like someone acting really childish, crying when they don't get their way. Someone is being arrogant here, okay? And now they, they could be children involved, finances involved, somebody's, oh my good God. This could be like, okay, things are getting really tense here. So it's looking like karma is involved, I'm sorry. This empress over here, who could be single, who could be an earth angel. They're getting good karma. They're getting good fortune. They're getting a lot of changes in their life. And on the other side of the table over here, someone's getting really catty. They're saying things, perhaps, I don't know what's going down here. It's like someone feels that somebody is manipulating. There's fighting, there's arguing, it's the King of Wands. Uh, there's chaos, King of Wands is looking at all this chaos looking at something here they just feel like something they cannot it's like stagnant this king of wands is getting karma uh, i'm sorry it's here it's because the king of wands maybe they're expecting too much of you gemini or maybe you are expecting too much of the king of wands i don't know But this is a burden. This is a lot of trouble. This is a, someone feeling unsure. Someone's feeling uh, out of balance. I, I don't get it. Someone feels controlled. Could be like family, disinterested in family, disinterested. Somebody's like, somebody feels like somebody's lying or, or Maybe somebody's not interested in discussing their feelings. Maybe they don't want to discuss with the family. Maybe they don't want to like have everything in public discussion or something like this. Maybe somebody is like, Damn, it's just like too much, too much, too much. It's something, they're saying something is just too much. Uh, so Gemini, you could be saying something really hurtful to someone without even realizing that it's hurting them. They're feeling like, well, who the hell are you married to? You married to me? Are you married to your family? That's what they're saying, not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just reading the cards. This person might feel controlled. This person might not want really to associate uh, the way you want them to associate with family or 
The expectations here are through the roof. Someone is expecting too much. Either they're expecting too much of you or vice versa, or family expectations are too high. Somebody is like, oh my God, this is a karmic cycle. Now I know nobody wants to hear it, but we've all had them. We have all had karmic cycles and not knowing that we've been in karmic cycles, but we're either, you know, what is this teacher thing all about? Like, I don't know. This Queen of Wands is not looking at any of it. The Queen of Wands is looking at the future. The Queen of Wands is looking at their own development. Something is going on here. Some kind of karma is playing out here. And things could be slowing down. Like, I don't know. Someone has got all these pie-in-the-sky dreams of like, I want the marriage, I want the home, I want the family, I want everything this way, I want everything this way, I want everything like this, it should play out like this, this is my happily ever after, this is my dream, I want to live my dream, I want to fulfill my dreams, and there's nothing wrong with fulfilling dreams. However... It's how you go about doing it. A cycle can be ending. This is... Someone who has told the truth or I'm telling the truth, or you're a tarot card reader. <laughs> this could be like someone backstabbing a high priestess, or somebody backstabbing, being catty about a high priestess. A high priestess will not play this game. Karmic cycles aren't meant to last. And someone's expecting a karmic cycle to continue. Well, we're married. Well, this. Well, that. We can't divorce because the faith says we can't divorce. And blah, blah, blah. We're going to be condemned. We're going to go to hell, you know. Uh, well, I don't know. It's just too much. It's way too much. It is a karmic cycle that is intended to end. It is not intended to go to marriage. It's not intended to go... Um, it's going to end. It's a karmic cycle that will close, that will come to an end. So if this person went and cheated on the high priestess, on uh, the empress, and they went and married someone else or got into a relationship with someone else, they got issues because they're going to keep getting this karma until they learn a lesson. It isn't meant to last. It's not meant to be the forever. You cannot stay in a karmic cycle forever it's meant to end it's not it's meant to either teach a lesson learn a lesson and then get out of it it's not meant to last a lifetime it's not meant to 
it is a karmic cycle and somebody is thinking, well, we're married or we're in a commitment and it's going to last forever and ever and ever. If you want to keep repeating really negative, unhealthy cycles, then I don't think so. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Like some people get into relationships because of expectations. Oh, I'm going to have the house. I'm going to have this. I'm going to have that. We're going to have children. We're going to have 2.3 kids. And we're going to have this. And we're going to have that. And when reality sets in. And you find out there's not enough money to go around. And there's a bunch of issues. And the issues keep piling up and piling up and piling up. It's going to come to an end. Because two peds, people are sitting here swords in each other. Getting digs in at one another. care if somebody married the Pope themselves like a karmic cycle is only meant to teach or learn a lesson do the work and get out of it they are not meant to last somebody keeps like hopeful yes we can make it work yes we can make it work everything not in a karmic cycle these are the signs, these are the clues that spirit gives you when you're on the wrong path. And I can tell you, Gemini, that I don't know if there's a a lot going down, some red flags here that, I don't know, somebody needs to pay attention to because you can spend too much time in a karmic cycle trying to make it work and miss out on true love because you're stuck in a karmic cycle. Not saying you're in one, Gemini. Like, this, yes, someone is. The Empress is single. The Empress is not in a relationship. The Empress is single. Then you'll know who you are. But there is an air sign here with um, another person coming off as an air sign. These are two people swords in each other, getting digs in at one another. I was expecting this. I expect this. I ex Somebody's expectations are beyond what is achievable. But I want and I want and someone's playing self-pity and poor me and uh, it's not a healthy relationship. blame two people blaming one another like this is blame this is accusation this is pointing fingers it's 
someone looking for a scapegoat. Someone, it is. It is. I can't change the read. It's not going to be for every Gemini, but if it resonates with you, you're definitely going to know if it does or doesn't. It is not going away by blame. Two people arguing. That's what's going on. Two people keep arguing and arguing and arguing. It's like pointing the finger at each other. One says this, the other one says that. This is tit for tat going on. Well, you did this, so I'm doing that. Well, you said this, so I'm saying that. Well, you did this, so I'm going to do that. It's tit for tat. It's childish, and it's not going to go anywhere. what it's saying and I can't change it so it either is or isn't your reading take care